Alright guys, how we doing? Good. How was spring break? Pretty good. It was wonderful. Okay, who did their spring break homework? You're dead. You had to uh, get out of your house, get off your phone, get off your computer, and actually go out and do something. So, what'd you do? So, what I want to know today is, what is a small thing that someone did for you that really encouraged you? So, it can be as simple as, thank you, Ms. Tabria. It can be, a, yeah. Example. Ms. Tabria this morning, brought me a donut, she didn't, didn't ask me, do you want anything, she just brought me a donut for breakfast. So it's, it's a very, very nice gesture. Like if I stop at the gas station, I always grab her a honey bun. We have been talking about, we started out with work, and then we got to power. So now we're gonna be talking about energy, and that's gonna lead into motion. I'm sorry, momentum, okay? I'm gonna let you know in two weeks, I've almost got all the stuff so we can start shooting our rockets. So in this lesson, you will be able to know the characteristics of potential energy. You will be able to solve for the algebraic variables related to potential energy. So that, what that means is, you know how we were moving things around when we needed to solve for different aspects of an equation? Same thing. And you will be able to give examples of kinetic energy and potential energy in your own life. Okay, so let's just do a quick little review. Uh, Elias, what is work? What is work? You don't know what's under your binder, but then you know. What is work? Brian, it looks like Brian, when he learned his work, he can tell you. something related to work, how would I do so? Uh, like the formula? Mm -hmm. So using our triangle, how would I solve for it? Uh, the force just, times just times. how do we do it? How do we do it? Oh, um, so if you want to like, put each different one, if you want to look for the work, you have to So just cover what you want to search for. So if you want to solve for work, cover the W. Juan, what do you see? S times B. And what does S stand for? Force. And what is uh, Fernando? Distance or? Displacement. Well done. So energy. Energy is the ability or capacity to do work. Potential energy is measured by the capability of doing work. Or kinetic energy is the conversion of the capability in motion, in motion. So, one thing I want you to take away the most from potential energy, potential energy, that's one thing I want you to think about. So I want you to write this down and put a little star by it, okay? The word stored. Stored. Hmm? Transfer, transfer, or in motion. Or in motion. What is that? Or in motion. So a good way to remember potential energy. We're on a swing. So this is like when we're just chilling, we're just, our feet are dangling, we're not, we're not going in motion or anything, we're just hanging out, right? And you and your friend want to see who can try to go over the bar. We've all been there, we all know it. So when you start swinging, wee, wee, wee. When you're up here, or you're up here, 
before you go back down, that is potential energy. It is stored energy that has to happen for you to get down. So you're going, feet are up, and then you're going back trying to get even higher because you want to make it over that bar. Or a bow and arrow. When I bring it back, what's going to happen? I have to let it go. What's going to happen? It has to go. <clears throat> Questions? Effective energy. You have kinetic and you have potential. So kinetic energy, think of meteors, walking, falling, throwing a ball, flying an airplane. Notice, what do all these have in common? They're in motion. They're in motion. So on page two of your note, I learned how to, do, how to make drawings on Google Classroom, or I'm sorry, on Google Docs, so I'm rather proud of myself for that. <clears throat> but you have this exact thing, and abbreviations. I just want you to fill those in. So, other than the five things listed there on your notes, what's another example of gravitational energy? What, what are some that you can think of? Hmm? Yeah, because it, it has to come down. Hopefully not in somebody's eye. Anybody else? What about... A slingshot. That could be elastic or gravitational. Think about it. You're pulling something back. It's going to have to go down. So. Was sports ball be considered a slingshot? Trampoline? Trampoline would work. Well done. Sports ball would be counted? Mm-hmm. Has to come down.
So potential energy depends on the following, and it needs a reference point. So our formula for potential energy is potential energy equals mass. That would be 9.8 meters per second per second, unless myself or Ms. Sinabria tell you otherwise. I personally don't like it rounded up to 10, as a lot of people want to do. I don't like that because it doesn't give you as an exact of an answer. Because like what we talked about before, uh, calculations have to be exactly spot on or your project is, is over. So gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second for everything, while on Earth, only on Earth, because Earth's gravity is different than that on Mars. Did you know Mars actually has a sixth of the gravity? I'm sorry, Mars has less than one sixth gravity of that of Earth. So you can actually bounce higher on Mars than you could here. Are we all good here? First one. What is the gravitational potential energy associated with a 75 kilogram tourist at the top floor of the Sears Tower in Chicago with respect to 436 meters below? What's step one? So what do we know? We go. Is what? Uh, but what? What is that? Mass. Mass. Well done. What else do we know? Brittany. What else do we know?
meters per second per second. What is my potential energy? I don't think that's right. Lena, help him out. Jules. Well done. So for this next one, we're going to play past the marker. So three different people. Yep. Yep. You go. Get a minute. Try to figure it out. And I'm going to default to Miss Sanabria because since I picked the last time who gets to go first. All right, you get one minute to try to work on number two, and then I'm going to give the marker to somebody. So be ready. Oh, so on number two, oh, I left yes. out, I forgot to give you one piece of information, okay? So am I going to erase this? Yeah. It's my fault. I apologize. Mr. Williams messed up. So on your paper, I want you to write down, so the largest sea turtle found in the United States has a mass of 860 kilo, kilograms. If the gravitational potential energy associated with the turtle as it was being lifted out of the ship was 2.0 times 10 to the fourth joules, this is what you need to write down in your problem. I'm sorry, I left that one part off on yours. Again, apologies. How high above the water was the turtle? So make sure you're doing all steps on your notes, the given, the unknown, the formula, and your answer. Remember, on this one, you will have to, to manipulate your equation. You know how to do this. We've done it many, many, many times. 